Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we are back at the complex, the crazy property that's had so many stories it's hard to keep track of. And we do have some exciting things to show you today, and that is the paint color we chose for the complex. And this is one of the houses on it, but this is not painted yet. So that's not the paint color we chose. It's been a, probably the craziest property I've ever bought, and there's been a lot of crazy properties I've had over the years. So we thought we'd paint a color that matched the craziness. So we'll show you that here in just a second. And um, of course we love the likes, shares, comments, all that, keep that coming. Investormore.com has a ton of free articles and videos and a free book and everything if you wanna learn how to invest in real estate as well. And yes, I've tried to buy that building and I can't find the owner because I thought it would make a really cool business, but I figured out a different place to put that business. So more on that to come soon. Um, the complex is two houses. We just saw the first one. This is the other really, really, really small one. We're working on that. So we'll show you inside that too, because we're making progress there. And then five apartments that used to be a motel a long, long time ago. And we think this little building used to be a gas station a long time ago as well. And so this has been a crazy property. We bought it for 550,000. It's been through a tenants fighting, tenants getting arrested, um, break-ins, squatters, a 500 tire eviction, which sounds crazy, but yes, literally we had to evict a bunch of tires with their owner after his tire store got evicted. And now we're getting close to the end now. It's been like a year. And um, here is the color we chose for all this craziness. And there you go. So we've painted another house. It was similar to this color and it was really, really, really red. And we thought we'd tone it down just a little bit. And apparently our toned down red is still really, really, really red. <laughs> so um, I think it looks cool. I really like it. But I, I, I worry slightly that it's a little crazy for other people, but I think it looks pretty amazing. We still need to paint the peak over there and paint the houses here. But um, I think it's pretty cool and pretty fitting for the property. Now there's one thing I've thought about doing. You can see this building is red. I had the compound, which is three houses and a commercial property. And we painted those three houses red, white, and blue to be kind of patriotic. And so we could leave those apartments blue and paint the little house white or blue and paint the bigger house white and do the same theme of having a red, white, and blue theme. So let me know what you think if we should paint everything bright red or if we should change it up and have different colors for the different buildings. And something else you might see, the fence is gone. That made such a huge difference and such a minor thing. Obviously we need to um, get new mailboxes, fix that up. The tree is not along the edge of the house anymore. We've cleaned that up. So we're making lots and lots and lots of progress. And we're getting very close to being done with this property, which is kind of sad. It's been like a part of my family, I feel like. Um, but now that the, the insides of the apartment are done, it's painted. We can start renting them right away. We actually have them scheduled to be cleaned and we can start renting them. We can finish up on the big house and finish the small house while those are rented. And then eventually the plan is to sell everything. So here's a little house and we showed this last time, but it's much different now. It's one big open room. Yay. And before, there was a wall kind of right along the middle here. And you had a bedroom with a closet over there. And this was literally the size of your kitchen right here, which was about four by eight. So you had a sink there, tiny cabinets, your stove right here, and that was it for the kitchen. And then you had a bedroom right here. Don't worry, it's not a dead rat. That's just insulation. At least I hope so. And um, your living room over here. So we've thought about putting in more walls, making it a one bedroom. And I think I've actually been vetoed on this one by the rest of my, um, my crew here. And we've just decided to keep it simple and just keep it one big open studio and just have it one space. So I'm okay with that. We'll probably put a kitchen on that back wall over here. We'll kind of put a closet in this corner right here. That's the water heater peeking out back there. And then um, have the kitchen maybe L shaped along the wall of that closet right there. And the rest of it will just be open. You can put your bed, furniture, whatever you want in here and have a nice big open space. Now we could have 
completely changed everything with the bathroom too because this is our beautiful bathroom that's where the sink was or no that's the toilet the sink was right here and you got this huge shower with sheetrock which is an amazing you know material to use for your shower walls um we could have made this smaller done all kinds of stuff but it's a slab on grade we'd be jackhammering concrete do all kinds of crazy stuff to move it so we're just going to pretty much keep it the same just make it nice and safe and watertight and all of that and redo the bathroom how it was because we spent an odd god ungodly amount of money on this property so far and uh, just hoping it, it pays off in the end but like i said we, we i think we paid 550 for it our total cost will probably be around 300,000 once you figure all the repairs, the evictions, the carrying costs, the carrying, um, financing costs, selling costs, all of that. And um, we're hoping everything rents from seven to 8,000 a month, which will make it well over a million dollar property. I'm kind of hoping for like 1.2 million, maybe more. And so it should make a lot of money. And once we start getting stuff rented, we'll actually have money coming in, which is nice too. So, you know, on a normal flip, a single family flip, we buy it, repair it, fix it up and sell it, and we sell them vacant. And that whole time it's selling, you know, we've got all those costs, financing costs, carrying costs, all that coming in. Well, on a multifamily flip, once you've got it repaired, you can rent it. You actually have income coming in while you sell it. So you're not in a huge rush to sell. It's kind of nice, but we still um, would like to sell it, get all that money back out of here and then move it into a new project. And you might ask why I don't want to keep it, keep it as a rental. Well, cap rates are still crazy low. Investors are still paying insane amounts of money for properties, in my opinion. And it's not in an area that I usually have rentals. We'll say that. So, um, but, you know, it's still going to be a neat property. So that's where we're at. Um, making so much progress. Everything's really close to being done and um, it's pretty exciting and kind of sad at the same time to see it getting finished up and knowing that a pretty crazy business venture is almost done here all right we'll have many more updates on this we'll show updates when the big house is all the way done it's mostly done now we'll have updates on the little house once it gets here and then um, we'll have some updates as we try to rent these properties get them rented how that's going as well and show all of that here coming up soon. So if you haven't subscribed yet, great time to do that. We love all the likes and shares. Keep that up. Love seeing your comments and what you think of this property and everything that's happened. It has its own playlist. So if you wanna see the previous videos on the evictions, the tires, all that crazy stuff, um, the playlist is on my channel. I'll try to link to it as well below in the comment descriptions. And yeah, it's been fun. All right, we'll be back with much more coming up soon. Thanks for watching, take care.